Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 career mode with Napoli and today we have episode 21. So today's episode is actually supposed to be a post commentary episode because the last few days uh, with like this sort of like short little Ill illness I've had, nothing major but like getting a blocked nose and everything, I sort of wanted to still play but I couldn't really commentate so what I did is I played a few games and in the last two episodes I did um, post commentary but I thought you know what I'm just going to go back into live and I'm going to show you a few clips of what happened uh, what should have been today's episode, but obviously, like I say, I'm just going to show you the clips of it, um, how all the games went, the goals, uh, only a couple of seconds long, won't be a major full match thing, so I'm just going to show you, uh, we drew with Palmer 1-1, uh, Genoa, we won 5-1, surprisingly, like I said, the new formation is working amazingly, uh, we played another game in the group stage of the Champions League, we won 5-0 against Lokomotiv, and in the final episode that was supposed to be today was a draw against Torinto 1-1, um, so yeah, I'm just going to play them clips now, and then I'll meet you back here in just a second. Well done guys, that was the clips, like I say, those two games there where we beat them 5-0, Locomotive and Genoa there, uh, or Genoa, sorry, I might pronounce that wrong, two games there, we won by five goals, uh, unfortunately drew against Parma 1-1 and same with Torinto there, 1-1, um, like I say, we really need to be picking up the win in them sort of games, uh, we'll have a quick look at the table, see how we're doing, we're not doing the best, if I'm going to be honest, you can see there, we're at eighth at the moment, um, who's top of the table? Juventus, surprise, surprise, haven't lost a game. Uh, won every game so far, 27, but so have Milan, actually. Bit of a surprise there, because last season, I think they only finished just above us in fifth. So that is, that is a bit of a surprise there. Milan going up in second, Inter, Torinto, Roma, Lazio, Atalanta, and then us. Five games won, two draws, two losses. But like I say, this new formation, uh, we've gone with the 4-3-3. Sorry, we'll quickly skip back to it there. It's just, it's just great at the moment. I'm really enjoying playing with it. Uh, my only problem is he's trying to fit... Well, not, it's not even the formation, really. It's the players we've bought. He's trying to fit everyone in and players not complaining because right now we do have an email from uh, Lozano stating that he's not happy with the amount of game time. Even though he's played, I think, the last two or three games. I think last episode, I think he played the majority of the games. So I'm just going to put... I'll consider your request. Even though he's playing and he's got a rotation squad role... You know, I, I'm guessing you guys have the same problem when you play with like a big team like Napoli or Juventus, the Real Madrid, the Barcelonas or any sort of big team. Well, I'm guessing you guys have the same problem trying to fit everyone in and these players demanding playtime all the time. So it, it can be difficult, you know, giving all these players constant game time. And, you know, like you say, when you've got young players as well, like I've got Marlon, I've got Felix, I've got Bergvine there as well and the list goes on at the moment. But it's hard to grow them and play current top players at the same time it, it can be difficult so yeah like i say i thought i'd give you a quick run back of the goals from the episode that was supposed to be today like i say i've just thought i'm going to go back into live commentary i much prefer it but just with like how my like my voice was going to sound and everything 
it just wasn't the best thing. I didn't really feel like putting the content out there, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, we're just going to accept that loan offer there. And just before we go in, today's first game. Oh, Espina is back now. We can play, uh, which is great. We didn't have any two problems. We didn't have any problems at all, sorry. Um, but anyway, we're going to quick look at the top scorers as well. Because I believe, there, yeah, Asensio and Ronaldo, top of the top scorers there. Lukaku coming in third. Marlon coming in fourth there with eight goals. Like I say, Asensio, last season when Juventus signed him and we played them, I think it was the second game, he tore us apart on that left wing. So I think what they've done, Juventus, is bring him on the left, played Ronaldo up front, and that just seems to be how they're playing when I last played him anyway. So, yeah. But anyway, we're going to go into this game against Sampdoria and we're going to see how we do. Go through to Marlon, play it out wide. Madison, try to get a little cross in here. We can. Finds him. Volley. Oh, off the post. Lozano there, unfortunately unable to get it past the goalkeeper. You can see there, just off the post. Go Lozano. Can he smash this past? Straight at the goalkeeper. I probably should have shot sooner. Maybe a bit of a finesse on that. But it's gone out for a corner though. Who should we aim for? Oh, try to go Koulibaly here. Here we go. Can he get ahead on that? Goalkeeper's come out again. I literally, I don't think I've scored a, from a corner this whole career mode. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> finding it impossible. Go Marlon. Oh, off the goalkeeper again. Starting pretty strong here, to be fair. Had quite a few chances. There we go. Can we head this in? Nope. Sol soldier. A defender. Barged him out of the way. Insigne's found it in. No man last for the shot. Probably shouldn't have shot with him. He needs to get back in defence ASAP. Go. Can we send Marlon through? He's through, but can he get onto the ball? And he can't. Before the pass went back to the goalkeeper. There we go. Got them all running now. Insigne up to Lozano and he's through, cut it back, find a pass in, shoot, oh Insigne, go, Madison with a shot, too weak, too weak of a shot there, should have played that attack a lot better, a little bit worried now though because we're about to go into half time, nil nil, a lot of chances created, I think they've only created one chance so far, so we are the better team, but like I say, it, still, it stays nil nil and we can't get in the back of the net, and he's going to end up a draw, dropping two points, which is not what I'm wanting. Yeah, he's picked it up. Go for a finesse shot. Blocked. Normally, I don't know if you would have seen from the highlights, but he's actually done some quite decent, shall I say, long shots in Signe. Realistically, I should be using him for that. Cutting in and, you know, going for finesse or just a long shot in general. Go for Signe's through. Cut back in. Go for the finesse. Straight at the goalkeeper. Right footed as well in Signe, so I thought he would have done much better with that. Go Allen, can he get a decent cross in? Near the back. Oh wow. Overhead. Straight away. There we go. Picked up with Fabian though. Allen. Got it through to Insigne with a shot. Oh my god, off the post. As if. As if. So it's still nil-nil. I'm just gonna do a quick sub here, I think. Like Felix hasn't done a lot for us so far, like in terms of goals, or I don't, he might have an assist, I'm not too sure. But I just feel like the need to play him, uh, possibly because he's like a star player sort of thing, isn't he? Young, potential to be world class. So I sort of want to play him. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting the best out of it at the moment. So I've just brung uh, Insigne off, put Felix on, and then swapped that Felix uh, with uh, Marlon because he can play left wing. But Kula Bali's here on a run. Playing through. We can. Can he get on the end of that? Oh, as if. The goalkeeper's got to that before us. Go. Send him through. He's out wide now. Marlon. Cut back in. Cross in. Madison. Oh, as if. Their defender didn't get a touch on that, did he? No. And I think for that split couple of minutes in game, Madison was playing a striker, but probably much better in that situation, to be honest, because he was much taller. Don't know why he didn't go with his head, but yeah. Go, Marlon. Cut it back. Cross in. Felix. Too short. I need to sign some taller to defenders. I want to start playing crosses in. Allen's picked it up again, though. Here we go. Through to Marlon. Work it out wide. Going to go against what I just said and do another cross. Felix. Oh, wow. Madison. Here we go. Can we get it through? Get it back to Madison, though. Going to go for the finesse. Block straight away. And there we have it. The game's ended nil-nil. To my surprise, I'm going to be honest. Let's have a look at the match facts here because no way. Look at that. 11 shots, 6 on target. You could tell me not one of them could have gone in. Just disappointing game. Should have won. My only excuse is it's my first game of the day, so might be a little bit rusty, you know. 
But yeah, let's move into the next game. So for the next game, I didn't realise it was the Locomotive again in the Champions League. Like I say, we've already played them. We beat them. Uh, I, think, what, I can't remember, was it 5-0, 5-1 or something like that. So we're just going to sim this game. Got the full team here. A little bit of a risk because after this game, we've got Juventus. So any injuries here will kill us for that game. Nah, nothing too major. Left back getting a red card. But like I say, I've got Mar Mario Roy can play left back for that game. And like I say, we're up to 12 points now in the group. So shouldn't really have any problems progressing through into the next game. But yeah, Juventus now. So this is going to be an important game because if we want to push into that top four spot, especially top two, where we should be realistically right now, uh, my results, my own fault, we're not there. We're at home, thank God. But, like I say, we need to start upping up, the, upping up our game. Got five emails here. Anything important? No. Player loaned out. Just loaned him out. Players going out on international duties. Players su suspended. We knew about that. Player chat. Mertens. I'm just going to put, keep working hard. Like like I say, back to early in the episode, it's just hard trying to fit everything, everyone in. You know, every game. But, I might have a quick change around of the team. Or shall I? Or should we keep it the same? Zelinski's not happy, he's not playing, bloody hell, it's tough, it's tough. But no, I think we'll keep the team the way that it is, because that's like my strongest starting 11 right now. We'll go into the game and see how we do. We're just going to have a look now at the Juventus lineup. See, you've got, so have still got Chesney in goal, Zaha on the bench, another player we wanted to sign last season, Chiellini, Kimmich, Benucci, Daniello, Modric. Wow, so they went in and bought him. He must be, what, 32, 33 now? we still bought him, Asensio, Ronaldo, Dybala. They're playing a 4-3-3 just like us. So it's going to be a tough match this. I can feel it and I know it is from last season. So we're going to have to get underway straight away in this game. Going Signe, cross in, Marlon. Come on, 1-0. Straight away, five minutes in, we managed to get the goal. I'm so surprised and happy, obviously, that we've got the goal. But I'm just surprised we got a goal that early on against Juventus, who last season... Literally, well, this season so far, unbeaten. Last season, struggled so hard against them. We can see here, Insigne at wide. As a little bit thingy about getting a cross in. Just not working for us at the moment. But Marlon, there, free man in the middle. Managed to get a head on it, as you can see here. Headed it in. Chesney unable to get to that. Makes it 1-0, five minutes in. Oh, you know, Marlon's through. Can Chiellini keep up with him? Cut back in. He's not kept up for him. Oh, the shot. Oh, no, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Literally, what has it been? 15 minutes in game and it's already equal. 1 1. Modric there celebrating with him and Asensio. Good goal, to be fair. Nothing more I could have done. Cooler ball. I was tempted to go in with a slide tackle there. You can see there, look. Just free balled him. Was tempted to go for the slide, but too late and he made it. 1 1. Signe out wide on the left again. Another cross in. Marlon. Yeah, he weren't getting to that. Especially with Chiellini and Benucci at the back. It's going to be so tough to get on headers. Go though, Juventus for the corner. Not long now till half time. Hopefully we can just hold this 1-1 one, one out. Oh my God, get it out. Get that out. No, 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 no. Oh my God, what is going on? Thank God. What a mess that was then. What went on? Go, Insigne played through. I want to try work it into the middle though. Oh, he's still got hold of it. I'm going to go for the finesse. Nope. Blocked. Before he even went for the shot. I can't. I can hardly see with this sunlight on this side of the pitch. It's the same pitch that we played on against Atalanta. Now, I know we're at home, so this is our pitch, but I don't remember playing on this pitch last season. I don't. Whether my memory is so bad, but I'm going to look back at some of the videos. I don't remember playing on this pitch at all. There we go. There goes half-time. Still 1-1. I don't really want to do any changes. The same change you do every game is Insigne coming off the bench, uh, coming off the bench, coming off the team for someone else. So I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. I don't really have any problems with the team. It's just trying to break them down that's quite hard. Like I say, the stamina's fine of most players. Maybe Insigne would come off in a bit. But as of right now, everything seems fine and looks fine. Oh, here we go. Lozano with a run there. Ricardo made the pass. Oh, my God, I've cut back. That was such a risky decision there. I didn't know he was going to slide. Go with a cross, though. Yeah. Can't make anything of that. There we go. Madison. Nah, unable to make the pass through. Koulibaly's cool got it though. Can we start an attack up right now? Madison. There we go. I can see him free on the right. There we go. Ricardo. Got to be careful here. Don't get bullied off the ball. Go over a little cross. There we go. Oh, Madison, man. 
I want to go for sort of like a long shot with Alan or Fabian. Might get a chance to now. Oh, oof. one as a corner. Probably one of the better chances we've had so far in the second half. Oh, Lozano's turned him. He's in the box. Cut back, a little chip. Nah, nothing again. Here we go, Fabian now. Wow, he's having a tussle there with Modric. Allen, find a free ball. Insigne, going to go for the finesse. Oh, Chesney. Oh, could have got on the end of that possibly. Possibly, possibly, sorry. But we didn't. And, yeah, I think we need to do a sub, if I'm honest. Players get a little bit tired now. I'm worried it's a little bit too late for the subs to make much impact. Bring Bergvine on. Felix. And you know what? I'm going to bring Mertens on. Felix hasn't done anything for me. If I'm going to be too honest, I'm going to bring Zelinski on as well. Just because his morale is so low. I feel like a lot of the times I'm making subs just because they're not happy. And not even because I want to make the sub. But here we go, Lozano. Probably should have crossed that first time. Crossed it in. Anyone on it? Marlon. Ooh, lucky. Did he get the touch on that other defender? Yeah, it was him. Here we go, they're on the break now. Oh, made a mistake in the box. No way. No way, man. How has that happened? So he's played the ball through, hit off Modric's heel, and then I've struggled again to get out of the box and somehow they've scored. I don't know how. Let's have a see here. Step overs, played it through to Modric there. Look, see, for some reason my player's just gone completely around the ball. Look, watch this again. I need to see this. Oh, he's not even going to show us. But here, Manalas, when he had the chance to kick the ball away or get onto the ball... He didn't, and he just messed around, and now we're down 2-1. Not much time here to recover this. 85th minute. Right, guys, so the game's ended 2-1. They've won. But I just wanted to show this back. Like, it's so frustrating. Look at this. Play it through here to Modric's right. It's thrown goal. Fair enough. Right? Off his heel there. We'll just go back a little bit there. Played through. Off his heel. So the ball's free right now. Man last there, number 44. Right in front of Modric. Should be getting that ball, kicking it away. I'm pressing X, right? Pass. What does he do? Nothing. What does Modric do? Scores. What? What? What is that? Why can't Modric? Modric, sorry. Um, Manalas control that ball simply and just kick it away. Pass like I asked. Pass might not have been the best option, but that's what I wanted him to do. And for some reason, uh, he didn't do it. Anyway, that game ended 2-1. That's the end of that. But just before we go into the last game of the episode, we've got another email here. A speeder injured again. Out for two months. Not that, like I say, it's a major thing, but it's just weird how at the start of the episode we got an email, oh, he's back from injury, da da da. Now, another email, injured again. Like, what, what's up with the guy? Last season, I don't remember being injured once. Anyway, into this game, we're going to give the team a bit of a shake round. I'm going to start um, Felix up front just for the sake of it. Not for the sake of it, just because. Not that, like I say, Marlon's doing bad. I just fancy a little bit of a change around with the team. Surely Merton's can play. Merton's gone down to 78 pace. Wow, we're playing him left wing. Let's, let's play Bergvine there. Let's bring Canate on as well. He's not been getting much game time. Same with Zelinski there as well. Let's play him for Allen. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, for Allen. Let's swap that back out. Um, didn't mean to make that mistake there. Uh, anyone else swap out? Lozano. Happy with him there, to be fair. I might bring Bale on the bench, actually. His fitness still hasn't got back up to full, even though I've played a game for a long time. Let's bring Bale there. Might bring him on at some point. But yeah, I'm going to go with this for the final episode. Final episode? For the final game of today's episode. Uh, let's see how we do. Hopefully get a win. That was a frustrating game, that last game. Should have just gone ultra defensive. Just played it out. Gone for the draw. But needed the win. Needed the win. I've been praising this formation so much. Then come to today's episode and just doing awful. Here we go. Bergvang down on the left. Crossed in. As if you couldn't get a header on that, man. Here we go. Back out, though. Is this Lozano? It is. Let's even get a Fabian. Let's even go for a shot. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. I feel like Fabian and Allen have got good long shots on them. I just never really take advantage of it. This episode, I'm going to be OTT with it, though. They've had a few more long shots than I normally take. Here we go. Play Felix through. Can we get it back over to Lozano? Oh, we couldn't just get to that, though. Still got it, though, with Felix. Let's try and work it in. Cut back. We can. Go for the shot on goal. Oh, can't just go near post. Goalkeeper's kept it out. Let's try with a corner now. Uh, who should we go for? Koulibaly. Pretty much every time, innit? Here we go. Head on that. Wow, the closest I've got to a corner goal. All episode, all episode sorry, all career mode gets denied last second before going in. There we go. Felix, got to make it 1-0. Oh, 
Oh my god, off the post. Are you kidding me? Again, please make it 1-0. Please, thank god, what a goal. Finally, 1-0. I thought me hitting off the post then was just going to be like, just that's been the theme through today's episode. I feel like just not been my day today on career mode. But Felix has restored my faith in him. And he's picked up his first goal, actually. Yeah, just remember that now. He's picked up his first goal for Napoli. Here, loads of space, smashes it in. 1-0. Here we go, they've got a free kick here. Moret. Oh, no, I was going to call for Moret then to get to that, but thank God I didn't. We got it away, though. Here we go, Felix. Got it back to Felix again. I can see you, Lozano. I can see you. Let's play you through. And he's through. He's got a 90-odd pace. He's through. Let's cut back in. Here we go, let's go for the shot. Oh, yes, thank God. That has gone in. 2-0, just before our time. Couldn't be any better right now. Now, I'm sure that will go through as his goal because it was on target. So, hopefully it does. Well, I think it was on target. Imagine it was going out and he just knocked it in. So, yeah, cut back in. Gone for the finesse. Yeah, I think that was going in anyway. Should have been. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, just... Moret just got hands to that. They've got a corner, though. Just come out the second half here. and they, I lost the ball straight away and they've just been on the attack ever since. Still not cleared it though. Need to get onto this right now. Come on, someone. Someone pick it up, please. Yes, thank God, Bergvine. Here we go, Felix. Can we get on the counter now? I need some people making a run. Is that it? That my... Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get across in to Felix. Can he get on that? No. Headed out though. Corner. Not too bad. Can we get, finally, a corner goal? Can we finally... Let's have a see. Fabian's whipped it in. Felix gone for the header. And don't know what happened there. Z just knocked it out for another corner. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go again. Here we go. Koulibaly. <laughs> Bergvine went for it instead. Here we go. Fabian. Play it out. Koulibaly is it? It is. Out to Felix. Work it in. Oh no. I need to cut it back at least. Here we go. Fabian. Awful pass. Here we go. Alan. Let's go for the shot. Stops and try putting too much power on that. Go, oh, Alan. Finally, Alan. Oh, come on, Alan. Please, just score a goal, man. Uh, Marlon, I uh, don't know. Yeah, go on. We'll do that sub in the end. Yeah, he's getting a bit tired, Felix, now. You can sort of tell. Oh, here we go. He's through. Wow. That literally just got rifled into the back of the net. Literally rifled into the back of the net. Moret was never going to save that. Look, I'm too busy messing around at this point now. Not like messing around, but you know when you're comfortably ahead... And you're not sort of like playing to your best. That's how I was right then. And I've just been punished for it. That's ultimate difficulty for you. As soon as you start messing around, you capitalise on it. There we go. Bergvine. Can he get a goal? Oh, it was on target to be fair. Goalkeeper's just got a hand to that. Another corner. We've got to score one of these. Come on, please. Please score this. Koulibaly. Come on. Come on. Oh, Ziff. Oh, Canate, sorry. Completely mixed up there. As if off target. Oh my god, they've almost just made it 2 2. Please just get this away now. I'm getting too silly for this. Like, in terms of just not defending properly and getting it out. Like, you can see from the last episode as well. I'm too busy trying to pass it out from the back, and sometimes it's just best just to hoof it up front, get it away. Even if it goes out to them, it's just getting it away from the box. Last few seconds of the game now. Shouldn't be anything. Major to happen. Maybe we can score another. Who can I play through here? I can see Madison. Oh, Alan, sorry. Go for the shot. Blocked. Never going to get a long shot with him, am I? Never. There we go. Alan, no. Through to Marlon. Can he make it 3 1? Marlon, as if. I never thought in a million years that was going wide. I thought I was going on target. You let me down there, Marlon. But anyway, besides all that, it doesn't matter. We've ended the episode on a win. Thank God. That is what we needed, a win this episode. Well, yeah, all three games would have been nice to get a win, but especially this game's win that a win was great. Not the best of teams to play. Like, you know, we need to start turning up against these bigger teams in the league, like Milan, the Torintos, the Juventus, you know what I mean? We need to start winning those games instead of these sort of games. Like, obviously, all games, if possible. Um, are you proud of Napoli's performance? Um... Uh, I'm going to go with, if I, if I go with death, considering these two are sort of like no, and I go with that, I feel like, oh no, okay, it's gone down anyway, <laughs> as if, picked the wrong answer there, uh, looked like they could pull t a level today, do you agree, you must have seen another game, we must be better, 
I was going to put the scoreline, says it all. Yeah, morale's gone back up, thank God. Last thing I want is morale down. One of the best players in opposition today. How difficult was it to stop Frost, Frosting, Frosting on? Frost on? Something like that. Uh, it's going to put, we just played our game. There we go, we've gone back up to content. Thank God. Last thing I wanted was unhappy morale and stats going lower than they need to be. But anyway, that's it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, like I say, leave a like down below. Hit the uh, subscribe button and comment anything that's going on in today's episode. And I'll see you all next time.